Hi everyone, my name is Christina Gabry, and this is my husband Claude Gabry. There he is. And we're with thegabryteam.com. And today I would like to talk to buyers out there about how to find your dream home without blowing your budget. So the first thing when we encounter a buyer is we need to ask whether or not they've been pre-approved. And you can get a quick approval on um, different websites that will give you a guide or kind of an idea of what you might be approved to, but they're not as reliable as actually going to a mortgage broker. Um, mortgage brokers can take into account everything that's going on in your financial situation and give you a hard number. And the worst thing we can do is to take you out and show you a whole bunch of houses and then you fall in love with one. We can see your face light up and um, you know that you found your dream home. And then when we write the offer and you actually do get approved on that, you can't get approved because there's been a few things that have been missed on the application. and the disappointment is overwhelming and we don't ever want any of our buyers to be in that situation. So we do ask the very first thing you do is to get a true approval from a mortgage broker. Um, so after we get that, we need to narrow down your, your wish list. So the first thing we do is we look at area. So are you a commuter? Do you need to get to work quickly? And is really good about the good thing about Edmonton is that we have the Anthony Hendy. So with that ring road, we have been able to um, expand a lot of our searches because now people can live in their bedroom communities and still get to work really quickly. So that might be Spruce Grove, Stony Plain, um, Leduc, St. Albert, Sherwood Park, Devon, even Fort Saskatchewan. So there's a lot of areas now that we're able to look for properties for a client um, that stretch beyond the Edmonton area. So after commute, we need to look to see if there's any special wishes for your children for schools or activities. We need to make sure that your house is within those areas so that either you can get to the activities quickly or that you can go to your designated school. Um, after that, we need to take a look at your personal dislikes and likes in a home. So some people, um, when you're looking at architecture and um, things like that, they want more of a character home or they want something in a mature neighborhood because they're drawn to that or that that feels like comfort for, comfort to them um some people want a brand new house like this one um, with wide open spaces and clean lines and that's what grasps our heart so we want to make sure that we're sending you the proper properties either in a mature area or a new area um, so we need to pin those likes and like likes and dislikes down so the next thing we need to do is to look and make you aware of any extra costs that are going to come with the house, the type of houses that you're looking at. So when you're looking in a mature area, you need to look at the house and see if anything is coming to the end of its life. For example, the shingles. If they're close to the end of their, li their life, um, we need to make sure that either you have the money on hand to replace those shingles or that hopefully we'll look for properties that have those shingles already done. Um, other expenditures that way would be windows. If the windows are new, um, great. If they're not, that could run up to $20,000 or even more depending on the size of house. So we need to make sure that either that's in your budget or we're looking at properties that have that done already. Um, other things with mature houses could even be the driveway. Um, driveways don't last forever and uh, cement is costly, so we need to make sure that either it's um, been taken care of and, and maintained or that it's already been replaced or that you, again, you have the monies on hand to do that within a certain time frame. Um, for new houses, those things are um, a little bit different because you're not looking at the, the coming to the end of the life of anything. You're looking at... Putting new stuff in. Putting new stuff in. Yeah, and a lot of people forget or they think that uh, moving into a brand new house, you're uh, uh, it, just put your feet up uh, and hang up your clothes and and uh, and uh, live life. So it's yeah. it's pretty, pretty easy. But uh, when you uh, buy a new house, you're, you got to remember you got to do a deck. Generally, deck, decks are not yes. included. Fences definitely generally aren't as well. Uh, landscaping front and back, uh, window coverings. 
Window so, coverings yeah. is a big one that people forget. Yeah, it's a big one. And you do need it, you know, you know, unless you're not on an acreage and you don't have neighbors or whatever. But, yeah. um, and in appliances as well, you know, uh, a lot of the builders don't include appliances or, or they only include a few of the built-in ones and that's it. So you have to put that in your budget as well. Yeah. There's, you know, there's other little things that you don't think of, but uh, before you know it, you know, you're spending a few bucks. You know, yeah. And we need to make sure that either that's going to be able to be included in your mortgage because it's written properly into the contract or that again you have the monies on hand to yep. take care of all that on your own. Yep. So after we go through and we narrow down your wish list and we know what your budget is, um, we can start that house hunt for you. And that's the exciting part because when we walk buyers through, and again, as I said um, at the beginning of this video, when they find the one and their face lights up and, and mom and dad are looking at each other yep. and the kids are running around looking Picking at all the, the rooms. rooms. Yeah. <laughs> exciting it's it's the best part of our yeah. job when we get to hand those keys over yeah. it's it's yeah. there's nothing better there's no better feeling yeah and a buyer and a buyer knows because like, they walk in and it's like it just feels like home and that's what I always say to people when I'm showing you know if, if it feels like home well, then maybe you should buy it yeah right? exactly you know, yep. So if you are starting your house hunt and you would like some help negotiating all of the contracts and maneuvering around and, and narrowing down your search, we would love to be the realtors that you choose to help you through that journey. So again, my name is Christina Gabry and this is my husband, Claude Gabry. <laughs> and you can find us on thegabryteam.com. And yeah, if, if you do want any help, we would love to help you. Yep, sounds good. Thanks, have Thank a great you. day. Thank you.